So, good morning all. Um, today I am doing a quick, um, it's a very simple video, uh, just on how I actually mount some of my gear into my rack. Now, at the moment, as you can see, uh, let me just put something on here. So at the moment, these two boxes here, um, Edge Switch Pro, uh, Edge Switch Pro and an Edge Switch Lite. So the Pro is the bottom one. Uh, this is a PoE Switch 750 watts, um, 48 ports. Um, this one and the one above it, which is an Edge Switch Lite. Now, both of these have 10 gig uplinks, which is what these are when flashing. Uh, ignore the cables. This one is from a I've, uh, I've sent out an equipment for an RMA, so I need to have the, the cables available. Anyway, um, so these two are the only... Actually, no, so I've got one more box that's up there. That's using the old-style cage nuts, which is a really long and boring way of saying these are old. They don't, it's not necessarily that the switches are old. The switches are old. But this is now the way... I have been mounting equipment in my server rack, probably the wrong way, but anyway, these are rack studs. Now, rack studs, where are we? I'm going to shut down my screen so I can show you. So rack studs, I'm going to bag like this. Now, these are the 2.2 version, right? So these are specifically for holes that are between 9.2 and 9.89 mil and have a rail thickness of less than 2.2 mil, right? Now the rail thickness is the thickness here. So these seem to be the same size as well. So how thick this piece of metal that is in there, that seems to be that. Um, I did take out a measuring tape to try and figure it out. Still wasn't 100% sure, but I ordered them anyway. So these are the second series of them. Um, you know, as I said, they're from a company called Rackstud. Um, and they were in a bag, like so. Right? And they are extremely simple to set up. So you have this little doohickey. I'm going to close this bag because I can guarantee you I'm gonna do something stupid and I will have the stones all on the floor. So, bag closed. So, you have this little doohickey here. I don't know if it's shown up correctly on camera. So, this is what actually connects in to the rack. And essentially, it goes in and clips as I've just dropped the bloody thing. Second, typical. Right. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Is not exactly the easiest thing to do. And it's for the state of my desk. Right. So this is the rack stud. This is the the thing that plugs in. And I'm gonna plug this in. Now, obviously, where this is going doesn't matter because I don't actually have anything that I'm connecting in. So. As you can see, it attaches in at there, and now it's at a wrong angle, and then it clips. When that's clipped into place, that's not moving anywhere. Now you can then easily take it back out. I say easily. Probably easier if you're using one hand. Anyway, they are possible to take back out. Anyway, so now that's in there. So the second piece of the puzzle is this little doohickey, which is like essentially a washer and this washer sits on the stud like so you then connect whatever equipment you need to connect so as you can see here so these are connected you put your you pull your equipment sitting on top or sitting through there and you then just screw it into place. And that's it. So if I take my screw, 
Or we, we... I'm not having a good day with this, am I? We'll just drop that again. Typical. Anyway, even though what a screw goes onto that looks like. Um, and that's it. So, I have some patch panels. I, well, I have two sets of different patch panels. I have an USW Pro. And that's hooked up through here. I have a Edge Switch 16XG. Another patch panel. There is a Unify XG. Unify. Um, this is the Unify 16 port 10 gig switch. And then I've a what's that? A US USW Pro. So there's a USW. That's 16 port PoE. And then this is. Uh, 24 port, 1 gig with 2 10 gig uplinks. So, there you have, and as you can see, they're all connected. Fairly, now yeah, the cable management could be better. I have, I, to, I do have to clean this up. Um, this has been put in very haphazardly <laughs> over the last couple of months. But, um, at least, the rack studs work so anyway um yeah there's the rack studs and then um, yeah actually while i'm at it i might as well just do a quick overview of what's in here in the network so uh as i said so the usw pro at the top so 24 port 1 gig with two 10 gig uplinks us uh, or uh, i don't know what that's called an xg Unify XG16 as far as I know so that's uh, all 10 gig so there are 12 SFP plus and 4 uh, 10 gig ethernet we then have a Unify switch a Unify edge switch 16 XG um, it's pretty much the same it's just running different copy of the OS uh, you've got a new SW that's the PoE switch so 8 are PoE plus, I think they're 802, no, uh, PoE plus as far as I remember. So there's 8 PoE plus and 8 standard uh, Ethernet ports plus then there's two, um, they're actually 1 gig uplinks, they're standard SFP uplinks. We have a UDM Pro, so that has a three terabyte hard drive in there um it's got a 10 gig uplink to the lan i don't know if you can see it through the cable mask but it's got a 10 gig link which is going to the us double or the the 10 gig unify switch and then there's a 10 gig link coming in from the internet connection that goes through a switch so it's a bit complicated and i'll explain that at some stage in at the back is an edge router four um, that's hooked up to the network to do something. Uh, this little you know, or this little doohickey here, that is actually a PoE injector or a PoE splitter, which is running my Raspberry Pi. That's a Pi hole in there. And uh, next we've got the Edge Switch 48 Lite and the Edge Switch 48 Pro. Uh, most of the cables that are plugged into them have been moved into the different ones. And over the next couple of weeks, things will be moving around as well. I'm not going to go into servers at the moment, purely from a point of view of, well, they're all over the place and half of them are off. And it's not very easy to get to them. But, um, yeah, so, and what, well, what started as a how to use rack studs. Ended up going to a quick network overview. Oh, by the way, uh, in at the back, that's my cable modem. So from Virgin Media, 500 down, 50 up. And then my uh, Nano, no, it's not Nano. What's this called? Ubiqu Unify AC HD. Uh, Unify AC HD. 
access point is there. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. Um, so, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that usual jazz. And um, I'll talk to you next time. Oh, yeah, bye.